it, it's documented yeah. in a book called Hollywood Babylon, and I didn't know it until I actually, I didn't think it was true until I actually saw it in the book. I thought my grandmother was bullshitting me, if I can use that word. And, um, uh, Whatever. And so anyway, she once sat me down, she said, I saw William Randolph Hearst kill somebody. And then he, he gave uh, everyone on his staff a lifetime job if they didn't say anything. And it was, on, it was in the Bay in San Francisco, and she was cooking. And she was Luella Parsons' cook. Luella Parsons, and there was a, there was a movie about Luella Parsons and the, her chief rival. And they made a movie of it, and it doesn't matter. But, um, and my dad was a, her, her chauffeur, <laughs> by the way. In any case, so that was the story. So I just thought, well, yeah, right. Now, and why did he kill her? Uh, he was, uh, because he suspected him of uh, having sex with his girly friend, the one he tried to make a movie star out of, whatever her name was. If you see, I can't remember the movie. Uh, Orson Welles made the movie. It was a one of the all oh, one of the great all-time movies ever made. Red Red Rose. Red, well, that was the thing that they said at the yeah. end. Uh, the, Citizen the, Kane. Citizen, Citizen Kane. Kane. Citizen Kane. Remember the little chippy girl that he had that, that got miserable oh, in the house? That one. That was Angela. Well, it was. She was a movie She's star. She's a star in The Young and Restless now. Okay, you're Oh, cool. Oh, huh. yes. So there you go. So anyway, that that's what he was jealous of this guy and <laughs> killed him, shot him, threw him overboard. And my grandmother witnessed it, she said. I don't quite buy that, because she would embellish. But the thing is that I thought it was just total crap until I saw that. And if you get the book, Hollywood Babylon, it talks about that exact incident. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that that may not be true either, but... Wow. So, that's, so so that's the story. Thank you. Very